Well, hello, my name is Jim Hassenbeck. I graduated with a bachelor's in 1980 and a master's in 1982. And currently, I'm a founding principal at Studio Architecture, which is located in Oklahoma City. Well, I grew up in Woodward, Oklahoma. I was born in Surreal, but I call my hometown Woodward. Well, I'm married to a wonderful lady I met here at Oklahoma State. Uh, Belinda is her name. And we're really, my family's really tied to Oklahoma State. My mom met my dad here. My son met his wife here. My daughter met her husband here. And obviously I just said I met Belinda here. So uh, we're, we're pretty, uh, pretty much an orange family. My grandmother lived in Stillwater and she worked for Dean Lohman at the time with SEAT, the College of Engineering. He was the dean. She always wanted me to come to Oklahoma State, but there was no doubt with my family where I was going to go anyway. On one of my trips up here to visit with my grandmother, actually it was in the summer, she walked me through the architecture building. And I mean, seeing the models and the drawings and the uh, sketches, things like that, I was somewhat enamored, but I, I had more of an artistic background because I thought I wanted to be an artist. Uh, that pays really well, I hear. Through that process, um, I probably made a hard decision then that I want to be an architect when I grow up. And then she gave me the syllabus for an architectural degree. And so I basically structured my high school classes uh, to mimic as much as I could what would be required here at Oklahoma State. So all the math classes and things like that I took and it made it made it much easier, much smoother here. So I'll contribute me coming here or being an architect more to my grandmother. As a student at Oklahoma State, I had a wonderful time. I would I would do it again. I wish I could do it again. I enjoyed my, my time here. I made a lot of really close friends. In a way, architecture was my fraternity because we would come early in the morning, we'd usually have coffee with our professors. And luckily for us at the time, our professors would kind of swing through the studio in the evening. So we, we actually received three critiques on our projects, one in the morning, one during class, and then one in the evening each day, which made it really uh, special, but it really brought us together as a group. In my master's class, there were only seven of us, and so we still stay in contact pretty much daily. My favorite memories would be uh, the Beaux-Arts Ball, which architecture has every year. Those were a lot of fun, a lot dressed up kind of funny and had a good time. It was a good release from the studio. I think an important factor for um, me during my career here was trying to exceed our professor's expectations. They were, they, they actually became in a way, our, our mentors, but more than that, our friends. We called each other on a first name basis. Once in a while, you'd say Professor Haley, Professor Knight, but as you got more into the program, they were Bob and Bill and things like that. So they worked really hard to make us be the best students we could be. And I think myself, along with a few others in the class, we just tried to excel and, and uh, exceed even their expectations which was awfully hard to do, and many times we didn't succeed, but at least we, we tried and we, we tried to strive for that. I'm an Oklahoma boy. I was born, raised, educated in Oklahoma. I, I love Oklahoma. And I think one of the challenges for the state is to become, for me to become a little bit more design conscious. So I think any involvement architects can have to help the public have a better awareness of design is a plus. And one thing I, I think myself along with our firm and I know other firms really try to get involved in their local communities and their states trying to just increase the public's awareness of the design and of the profession. I know there's a number of students that will be present uh, tonight at this dinner and I think some advice to share with them. I've said this already, but just enjoy your time and enjoy the process. It doesn't happen overnight. You're going to make a lot of mistakes and you're going to have a lot of successes, hopefully. And uh, learn from those mistakes. You'll learn faster when you make mistakes. 
um, and, and I wish you all, you know, the best. Oh, by the way, don't forget, go Pokes! <laughs>